Since the strike began, hospitals like this one, which aren't run by the government, have had more people coming in looking for treatment. This hospital has had at least a 50% rise in the number of patients this week alone. We have a faith-based faith organization, so our prices are lesser than uh, the private hospital. And uh, almost all our beds are full now. Even in theater, I had uh, people I didn't plan for yesterday to do surgery today, and they come, and like uh, emergency, we go direct to theater to do them. One of the government hospitals we visited in Nairobi, like many others across the city, has had to discharge all its patients that were in the hospital before the strike, including mothers and newborns. Doctors say they'll continue to stay away until their demands are heard and the government implements an agreement that they came to three years ago. Now, while the public does sympathize with many of these doctors because they aren't paid very much, there is a concern that there will be a health crisis across the country, that people may die or people who need urgent medical care won't be seen to. So the doctors are facing a battle from one side, the government, and the other, the public. But just how long the strike can go on for remains to be seen. President Uhuru Kenyatta has urged doctors to return to the negotiation table and return to work. But doctors say they'll continue to stay away as long as government doesn't play ball.